Hey, this is Adrian at Boosty USA. I wanted to just do a quick overall maintenance of the board. Something that is good if you're riding it a lot, do once a week. Keep in touch with your with your board. These board bearings do not sound very good. If you get up close, you can hear the grinding on that. That'd be a good idea for a bearing replacement kit. Probably if your front bearings sound like that, your rear bearings don't sound good at all either. So it definitely makes the board roll better, better uh, efficiency from your battery. Uh, the next one, if you want to change your battery, this is a four millimeter Allen key. Quickly comes off with a nice tool like this. You will have to work a little bit harder if you're doing it by hand. battery down like this this is the connector for the battery it goes straight to the motor controller which is where your uh, what drives the motors and what talks to your remote so the battery has these special tools that fit right onto the outside and you twist off it's best to use these tools because if you use pliers this metal will definitely bend and then it doesn't sit well. And that's it. Make sure your battery is off when you unplug it. It can cause it to go into an error that is unrecoverable because we no longer have the firmware. Uh, to reinstall, you line up the two bottom pins in there. There's also a groove on the inset here and a groove right there. I don't know if you can see that, but you line that up twist on with your hand and you do the same thing again tighten it back up and reinstall when reinstalling it is smart especially with a bamboo deck because the bamboo decks were hand drilled and so each one's a little bit different. These composite decks are much more factory um, similar. So what we're doing here is we're going to tighten the first two, uh, the middle two, excuse me. We're gonna tighten those just a little bit. We're gonna get them threaded in. Oh, helps if you go the right way. So there you are. We thread those in so it's still loose, so you can easily get in the other four bolts. And then you tighten up, crisscross, everything's good. Uh, next, it's the same idea with the motor controller, but you do have to take the whole rear end off. Um, and now speaking of the motor drive, one of the biggest problems that I find, um, people are like, oh, my motor's sounding bad. Oh, the wheel's not spinning right. Nine times out of 10, it's a little pebble inside on this gear and that will wear out your belt that will make everything feel like the motor shaft is out of line it's just a pebble nine times out of ten um if it's not you think you have a bad motor take the belt off run the motor by itself with no load if it makes noise it's a bad motor and check the serial number because it's probably a t2 we sell the upgraded t3 much better motor it lasts three to four times as long as the original t2 um, so we're selling t3 motors that are much nicer um, yeah this is what you should be inspecting all the time also keep your wheels clean wipe it down if it gets wet it's an electronic skateboard water is not its friend it is very waterproof but i would still always wipe it down treat it as best you can Thank you very much.